guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today um, I am doing another one of my uh, pick a card readings since uh, the first one that I made last week went so well and a lot of people were asking for me to do another one of these. So today's question is, how can I increase my financial prosperity? So I have my four piles here. And the three decks that I'm using, as you can see, there's three cards per pile uh, to kind of uh, help us out. We have the Chinese Fortune Reading Cards. I am also using my Sacred Creator Oracle. And I am also using my Pagan Otherworlds Tarot. Okay, so just to kind of give us the financial vibe, I have a hundred dollar bill sitting here as well as a lot of my pyrite and my fortuna statue which i got courtesy of the witch's moon um, i have my green candle going i have a big chunk of citrine um, and above each of the cards i have a, a alternating citrine a piece of pyrite a citrine and a piece of pyrite so what i want you to do right now think about the question how can I increase my financial prosperity? So we're talking moolah. <laughs> so center yourself, take a deep breath. Think on that question. And I want you to go to the pile that you are most drawn to. In the comment section or in the uh, information section down below, I will show you the time signature for each of these piles. So let's say you are drawn to pile number three over here with the little citrine above it, um, then you would see that it is like nine minutes and 11 seconds in or something like that. So you can skip right to that pile without having to watch the entire video. Although there are some people that choose multiple piles or they just like hearing what all the messages are and that's totally fine as well. So again, centering yourself and go to the pile that you are most drawn to. Okay. So we're going to get started with pile number one uh, with the citrine above it, uh, or the bigger citrine, I should say. So we're going to start with the first card. How can I increase my financial prosperity? Isn't that interesting that we start with the pentacles? Um, cheeky, yes. <laughs> um, so here, you know, I see this guy's like given back but he's also like you know really holding on to that pentacle and um seems very casual and he's got the ram on his head um so what i'm getting here is to um well the first step into you know wanting abundance is to really be feeling abundant um so meaning not just money but feeling abundant in all areas of your life so that means to have a little bit of gratitude with this guy um giving the, the hand here and you might see Wally or uh, Loki walking around in the background. Um, <laughs> so, um, you know, think about where do you have abundance as of right now? Like you have an abundance of love in your household, um, you have abundance of job opportunities or um, ways to uh, make a little bit more cash in your career. Uh, maybe you have some talents and uh, you are grateful for the many talents that you have and you know hey maybe you're thinking about doing a little side business but think about where you're already abundant and focus on that right now um, and then we'll we'll see what's next so focusing on our abundance uh, other than in the wealth department in money where are you already abundant okay so once you're in that mindset let's see what else we got going on so we're going to pull from our sacred creators oracle and it says cut the cords of doubt okay so you may be feeling like mm, you know uh it's not possible for me to have a, 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 a wealth of money you know it's not um you know, I don't see any way through the job that I have that I could do that. Or if I started my own little side business, I doubt that I would, you know, be able to make any cash. Well, usually, <laughs> you know, what you say it will be, it will be. So if you say you're not going to make money doing X, Y, and Z, then you probably won't. So it's that old saying, you know, uh, he who says he can and he who says he can't 
those both dudes are <laughs> both of those dudes are usually right um, not word for word but that's how I interpret it so um, cut the cords of doubt um, so you're gonna have to go back to maybe doing a little bit of shadow work where is all this coming from why are you why are you saying I can't I can't but yet you're like I want more cash I want more cash in my life yet you're saying I I can't have more cash in my life a little, a little counter counterintuitive there okay um, so now we have our big card uh, which is our Chinese fortune reading card so this is um, another message uh, from uh, to me from spirit so it says health okay and also you know having the pentacles here so this is very interesting so in order to increase your financial prosperity you need to be in a financial mindset you need to do a little bit of shadow work and figure out why you might be limiting yourself from what you can and cannot achieve um, or saying I, I can't make this amount of money that's ridiculous or I shouldn't um, so figure out where that's coming from um, and also check in with your health meaning uh, your physical body um, is the um, uh, these these negative thoughts about what you can and cannot achieve in your life um, are the manifesting in certain areas of your body you know these anxieties that we have these stressors that we have that I, I can't make money and I can't do this you know these negative thoughts they tend to manifest themselves um, in certain aches and pains or illnesses that we get um, and I'm not saying that all illnesses are stemming from our negative thoughts but um, I do believe they play a part so you may want to see um, you know what areas of your body have been like kind of nagging you like has it been in your hands you know has it been what area of the body has it been in and I would say do a little bit of research and uh, a little bit of meditation and start to think what does that mean what's my body trying to tell me you know um, and there in there let's say it's your knees and you're doing a little bit of meditation and you're like I feel like um, I'm literally being brought to my knees by spirit or my higher self to say hey stop what you're doing stop this thinking that you're doing you know you're worth so much more uh, if you want to increase your net worth <laughs> then you're gonna have to increase your self worth okay so that's our message for number one okay if you chose pile number two let's take a look how can we increase our financial prosperity how can you increase your financial prosperity oh my gosh we got the full moon and wouldn't you know when I'm making this video it is the full moon tonight <laughs> so I think that's pretty awesome um, okay so what I'm getting is it is time to release some things um, yes I'm talking about things in your house and things in your head so mental clutter and actual clutter clutter that might be um, in your home so uh, go through all your clothes all your pots and pans books mementos um, and maybe uh, practice a little bit of that KonMari method you know what is cluttering up your home and not allowing or disallowing the flow of abundance to come into your life because universe might be saying well you kind of already got a lot of stuff you seem pretty happy and content you know um, maybe you're okay right now and you're like uh, no <laughs> I'm actually looking for more um, and so you might want to release a few things you know um, both in your home and um, thoughts that have been causing you unnecessary anxieties um, and that way you are mentally saying I am clearing out things that I don't need so that I can welcome in more financial prosperity and more that I do need okay so let's look at the sacred creators Oracle and what else do we have to go with that ambush fear with your ferocious dream okay so once we've cleared out some of that mental and physical clutter both in our brain and in our home um, you are I would say the space in your brain would be more clear to then focus on your dreams instead of the anxieties and the feeling of lack and instead of focusing on what I don't have and what I need and da, 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 start focusing on your dreams 
why do you want this financial prosperity? What is it? Is it going to fuel something? Is it to um, help start a, a, a little project of yours? Um, what is your dream? Figure out why. Why? Why do you want this financial prosperity? Why do you want this extra income? Okay? And then just let your dreams run rampant. Don't judge them. Just let them go. Okay? All right. So let's see what our card is from Spirit. And we have Karma. Okay? Um, so for me, in this, I'm starting to think um, Karma in this life. What are you doing for others? You know, as you you clear out your home, maybe you can practice a little karma by uh, donating your items. Maybe um, repurposing those items and gifting them to people uh, who need them. Um, maybe you want to help other people to clear out their items, you know, and hold a massive garage sale. And maybe the money will go to your favorite charity. But figure out how can I practice a little karma? How can I not only purge what's in my home, but also give back to those uh, that maybe are a little less fortunate who are also in lack and who are also needing, you know? So uh, if you want to bring in more prosperity, give to those who need. All right, beautiful message. Next is pile number three with the other little citrine above it. How can we increase our financial prosperity? Okay, and here we have the Six of Cups. Um, so what I'm getting with this is to go back to a time when you felt like things were good. Things were stable. I didn't have to worry about um, having enough money to pay the bills. Um, and I didn't have to worry about much. That kind of carefree, um, you know, just out playing with your friends. Uh, so think about how far you have to go back. Is this going back into childhood um, but a certain moment maybe your whole childhood you didn't feel carefree or, or you didn't feel any sort of burden um, with your your family when it came to money but just like a moment in time any memory maybe it was when you went to the water park with your friends when you're 13 I'm speaking for myself there <laughs> um, just when you felt carefree and fun and money was the farthest thing from your mind. So this is a mindset you wanna to try to get yourself in um, because it's a very positive mindset that I'm okay, things are okay. I'm not in lack right now, I'm okay. And it's interesting that usually when we're feeling like everything's okay and I'm not needing any cash right now, that's usually when cash enters our, our lives. <laughs> so. Uh, if you chose pile number three, then your mission is to go back to um, maybe a specific point in time or just a, an actual day or an actual hour where you just felt like things are okay, things are fun, I'm happy. Okay, uh, and then with our Sacred Creators Oracle, balance. Okay. So definitely, isn't everything a balance? <laughs> um, you know, with the alchemical balance of temperance uh, and the balancing of the scales of justice, um, you know, it just seems like everything, everything in life is, is balanced. You can find balance in all, all 78 of our tarot cards, uh, basically, if you wanted to really look into it. Um, but I'm seeing, look at how things are balanced here, but out, look at how things are just perfectly spaced and balanced also in this card. So perhaps look, are, is there an area of your life that's maybe a little out of balance right now? And uh, perhaps you're feeling like the answer to the solution is money? Maybe take a deeper look into what is throwing the situation off balance or the area of your life off balance and think about how can I energetically rebalance the scales because without balance how can we bring in abundance abundance comes when there is balance okay so your mission was to go back in time and think about a point in time when you were happy and carefree and start thinking about areas of your life that are a little unbalanced and how can we balance those scales once again okay our message from spirit is the sun card how awesome is that so 
I think that if we go back and we can just, at least for a few minutes every day, put ourselves in the mindset of that just that time we were just happy and carefree, abundance will come into your life. It has to. You know, this is what I get from the sun card. Not just financial abundance, but just more happiness, more um, people that are there to share in your light, um, more opportunities. Um, and through those meetings of new people and new opportunities, comes opportunities uh, to increase your, your financial wealth. So, yay, very interesting, very good. And our final pile is pile number four with this little piece of pyrite above it. So how can we increase our financial abundance, prosperity? Oh, <laughs> another card that looks like balance. Um, here we have the two of cups. So it says relationships. Here I want you to start thinking about what is your emotional connection to money? What do you feel when you think of money? Does it bring you anxiety? Does it make you feel like it's something that's just out of reach? And it's time to start going back and thinking about where that's coming from. Where is that idea stemming from? Much like the reading in the first pile, very similar. But here we're very specifically looking at relationships, your relationship to money. If you're wanting to bring in more financial prosperity, you're gonna have to look at what your relationship is with money. Um, so like, let's say if I said, um, I wanna have a better relationship with my dad, well, let's look at the relationship right now, you know, and if it's not the, uh, you know, uh, storybook relationship, then there's some things that we need to fix in the relationship before we can make the relationship better, okay? Um, so think about your relationship to money. Are there some um, limiting beliefs or some uh, past traumas with money? that might cause you to um, mentally and limit the amount of money coming into your life. Okay, so start looking into your relationship with money and how that makes you feel. Okay, so let's look at our Sacred Creator's Oracle. And here we have overrate your intuition. Okay, so I'm getting that whoever chose this pile, um, that they're are times where um, you may have had opportunities to um, connect with somebody or you know hook up with somebody or join a certain company or invest in something and because of your relationship with money um, and you know your uh, <laughs> your uh, feelings about money uh, you backed away you backed away from your intuition and your ability to um, succeed in the financial department um, and so here I'm getting um, that once you fix or at least work on your relationship with money um, your ability to trust in your own intuition will increase as well and you have the gut to be able to sniff out where there's extra cash um, but you're gonna have to learn to trust it so learn to trust yourself and work on that relationship with the moolah, the dinero. Okay, so our message from spirit is the spirit symbol. Ooh. So this person's very, very woo-woo, by the way. <laughs> this is a very um, intuitive person, um, possibly very psychic, but um, there are symbols that you see with this little third eye here throughout your entire day, but you may be ignoring them because again, going back to this card back here, your relationship with money okay so once you start really working on that relationship the universe is gonna see that and I want you to start opening your eyes to the signs and symbols around you that you are on the right path and when you do that you're gonna start opening up your intuition even more and you're gonna be able to find out sniff out those opportunities to make more money all right, so I really enjoyed that, you guys. Let me know um, what pile you picked and what you got out of that and how it resonated with you. Leave that in the comment section down below. Again, if you're digging these videos, let me know by giving this a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell. Ding, ding, ding.
time for more videos just like this and I really enjoy making these videos by the way so I'm gonna try to do this once a week you know if you guys really want me to but I'd love to hear um, your stories your connections with uh, the pile that you chose or maybe you chose like a couple of different piles maybe you read all all four of them um, and you listen to all four and you're like hey I think that all of that was like one ginormous message for me um, and again I love hearing about it so um, if you want to catch a more in-depth reading from me, something that's a little more tailored to you, I have so many different types of readings, um, and my readings are um, open enough where they can take all forms of questions, relationship questions, career questions, financial questions, family questions, any questions you can think of, and I would love to read for you. Head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. I'd love to read for you, and don't forget to get your little hiney over there to the KWT tribe at patreon.com slash kittensweightsandtarot, where I am creating my own oracle deck, and I do need more support so I can help get that oracle deck up off the ground, plus um, adding in your thoughts about what you want from me, uh, from my channel, and from my company, so that you can get more out of uh, what I'm giving you guys, plus you get freebies in the process. So anyway, I will catch you spiritual homies later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out!